<laughs> I know. So, um, but you're pretty in pink. Of course. You should be able to wear pink. Exactly. Here we are going into the student union. The GLVA is on the uh, is on the fourth floor of this building. What's interesting about this is that this used to, uh, the office that we occupy in the student union used to be a closet. Uh -huh. uh, literally, it was a broom closet. Oh my so, God. We had an issue with that. GLB has always been complaining about how trying to get out of the closet and not be shoved back into one. It's kind of <laughs> ironic. But what we did is we remodeled it. And, uh, next year, I think they're going to try to move us into uh, an actual office when we join departments to when we get dormant status. So, that's good. Because a lot of places don't really consider being gay as some kind of a group, right? Well, no, but you know, we realize they can't ignore it anymore because, I mean, we don't, we're, here, we're not a group. We can't plan things like National Coming Out. We, we can't plan things like the Al for Real Film Festival that we had where we had all gay films on uh, the last, last March. You know, we plan a huge thing. We just go to the graduate, um, graduate student conference here for, you know, this, um, students from all over the country came. And it was here at USC, which was just phenomenal. I mean, it was a huge success. And uh, they can't ignore that we exist anymore. Right. You know what's ironic is that here, this is the yearbook for this year of USC. Um, they have a picture on campus here. Um, they took it unknowingly during National Coming Out Week, and there's a huge Lambda flag, if you can see it, hanging from the main building on campus, and it's immortalized forever in the yearbook. Oh, which yeah. I think it's just really funny that they did that. <laughs> now, 40 years from now, it'll be able to go through history. It'll say that we were here, we were clear. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 These are some of the core members of GLDA. Oh, good to meet. What is your name? I'm Timothy. Hi, Timothy. Executive Director of the Executive. Oh, good. And you are? I'm Ricardo Alvarez, and I'm with the former Executive Director. This year's social official event. Oh, good. And I'm Kamisha, and most likely I'll be taking over my chat next year. Oh, good. And you're Jason Patria. Um, I'm our PR, PR coordinator. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Uh, How old am I? I'm 23. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. And you are? I'm 17. Wow. I graduated from high school. I couldn't hang with all those heterosexuals. <laughs> 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 I'm 21. Wow. Going on 17 at the house. Doesn't he look good? And I'm 16 going on 17. <laughs> He has 
organized and pulled major libraries like the Jim Mazur Library and the One Institute Library and pulled them all together. And it's here at USC has housed the largest gay and lesbian archives uh -huh. in the world now. Uh -huh. So which will be open to the public? Which will be in the fall? Which will be open and, and public and fall. ironically housed in an old fraternity house. <laughs> <laughs> I love the irony. <laughs> but one of our other things in this office that we cherish dearly oh, is the mirror. Come over here. <laughs> uh, other than the mirror. <laughs> it's our Charlie's Angel photograph. Of the original Angel. Of the original Angel. And they think he's the misogynist. We love Charlie's Angel very much. And the first season, I believe, was 1976. Thank you. Yeah. 76, the year we were born. <laughs> yeah, that was me, you <laughs> I got to see it when I was in high school, but you were so, so you were just born. No. So was, how did you all catch it in reruns? I was in. I was in. Oh, no, I watched the original. I watched the original. I think I watched some of the end of the original with like Tanya Roberts, but I think it was downhill by then. Like, on the but, yeah, but they got the like syndicated <laughs> reruns. Show team. Let me see porn yet. You're the yeah. And there was going to be a spin-off called Tony's Boys. There was like one episode. Well, there was something. Yeah. There was supposed to be a Charlie's, an Angels 88 that Fox yeah. was supposed to come out with, and it failed. But I hear that with the success of the Brady Bunch movie, the Charlie's yeah. Angels movie is only a year away. <laughs> and Charlie's yeah, Angels always been like this in the time, so we don't have to worry. And in our heart, and in our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. I saw them on Halloween. Mm -hmm. several, several times. <laughs>
um, few non-Greek organizations to enter. And GLASS then, now GLBA, was the first organization that changed the requirements, the look of the choreography of the sound of every yeah. show from then on. And I think we were also probably the first group to be censored and kick out a song for yeah. yeah. being a little too racy, but we, we came back. What were some of the lyrics? Um, <laughs> I think it was something like, <laughs> we're lipstick lesbians, you know what I mean? And I love to bump and grind with my girlfriend, or one, two, three, four, eat beaver, or <laughs> Kappa Gamma Zandy G's do their best work on their knees. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it was a parody of the road. Yeah. We, we come back with more wholesome the shows. Show. Which leads me, me to, leads me to, like, some of the sayings that we came up with, because uh, one thing that, for, like, the longest time that people were saying were, was, there was a line that I had in, in Songfest where it was, I am scared of those who... Oh, yeah. oh, I'm scared so of those who... I am scared of those who... Yeah, I didn't even remember it that. It degenerated from that point to, I am scared of that. And <laughs> it just, like, an air and more... And then, then it got translated into Spanish. Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo de eso. Tengo miedo de eso was my favorite. But my favorite is a mixture of, I'm scared of that and coming to face. I'm scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard one of those, what's it, um, Mira Bitch, no me lo es, which is, yeah. look bitch. <laughs> 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 what about trash? Is it? Oh, trash and Zorana. <laughs> 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 like when I thought I would be see somebody thought it would be trash of Zorana. Yeah, mainly the people who are, oh, I don't want to say it, the people who are handing out those stones. Oh, you can say that because they annoy everybody. <laughs> 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 they make me think. I'm offended when they even talk and ask me. Like when you shake your leg, what's up with that? Like when you know, talk to my hand. Because my head is on this thing. Or don't talk to my hand because it's not the old thing. Or our, our other, our other favorite hand gesture is like when people just make you ill. You just. <laughs> oh yeah. Bomb it or and throw it over your shoulder. But if it's really, if it's really bad, if it's or this. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's really bad, you vomit and you throw it at them. <laughs> but it's not that. It's just like it's just, just. You know, it's very, it's very subtle. Yeah. Um, okay. When something is just when someone says something that is just beyond, or you're in a situation that is just beyond, you do something like this. And a lot of people do it, but they don't understand the deep meaning behind it. And that is from the Oscar-winning motion picture Silence of the Lambs, starring Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. And it's from the scene where Jodie goes to find out information from Anthony Hopkins in the cell, and one of the cell mates throws cum in her hair.